thrown a player out of the game. This could be a good distraction. Too late. They're using a new ball. Like we gotta get that ball, Scoob. <laughs> now we are short one player because you have become blind. You have the dog. The what? <laughs> the rule states that any player still on the field is in the game. The dog is not on my team. Well, he's not on our team. You couldn't hurt one. We only have two minutes left to win. Then we accept the dog. Great. You know, we're still close to the water. All kinds of fish in there. Yep, they're so beautiful. The girls? No, the nets. Nets? I wonder what their tensile strength is. Their nylon, absolutely perfect for traps. <sighs> Feel like going for a walk? No one here is going to miss us. <laughs> Scooby-Doo, is that your stomach? <laughs> Not my stomach. Is that a crab? Or is it a man? Like, it's a, a man. Um, a crab. <laughs> it's a man crab. Lab. Jinkies, of course. The high security at the lab meant that the theft had to be an inside job. And he was hostile toward us from the beginning. He must have recognized us from the parade. Well, like, why'd you steal the formula? For the money, of course. <sighs> when I was a child, I wanted to be a magician more than anything. But I came from a family of security guards, so that was my destiny. Even as an adult, I longed to be on stage. But a magic deck is very expensive. How could I get the money? And then I learned about the professor's secret formula. It could be worth millions. By using a costume, not only would I conceal my identity, but I could become part of the parade to cover my escape. 
Then came the acid. The formula was now on the ball, but the dog would find it first. I had to get it back so I could sell the formula. And I would have too, if it wasn't for you meddling kids and your soccer stinking dog. We have the newcomers, Skinny Man and Dead Meat. They'll be facing the meanest competitor in and out of the ring. Back for revenge. Determined to destroy anyone between him and the title. I give you the big red monster. Kane! is the last man standing match. The superstar who's unable to answer a 10 count after being knocked down is declared the loser. Come on, Scoob. We gotta, we gotta keep it together. Okay. After Kane is finished with Skinny Man and Dead Meat, we'll be scraping them off the map with a spatula. And there's the bell. Kane explodes across the ring. Oh, there goes any chance for a fair match. OK, Scoob, hit him with the old one, two. One, two, Scooby-Doo. -Doo. Come on, champ. Give him the old double backward super duper Scooby spin. bad for Skinny Man. But wait, what is Dead Meat up to? <laughs> Dead Meat has revived Kane. The big red monster is risen. Never before have we seen a standoff like this. It's monster versus monster inside the cage at WrestleMania. Who will survive this supernatural matchup? Who will be victorious in this paranormal pandemonium? Kane drives the bear back with a stunning blow. The bear hits the mat. Kane pins down its leg. The new competitor, John Cena and Sin Cara, pile onto the powerful creature, but they can barely hold it down. Scooby-Doo, it's up to you. Only dead meat can tip the balance now. Can he do it? Can dead meat save the day? Scooby-Dooby-Doo. The dust is clearing now. The bear's out cold. 
Dead Meat wins it! Ooh.